Hi everyone, it's Leia, and in this video, we will be doing an oracle card reading for the week of April 21st through 27th, 2014. We're using the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. I've had these cards since 2004 when they first came out, and I've used them so very many times with myself, clients, family, friends, and I really love their energy. In fact, as time goes by, I am liking these cards more and more. Let's see what messages come up for us. I've already pre-shuffled the deck and set the intention as well that everything that comes up is for the highest good of all of us viewing this video. If you come across this video at a later time, there's probably still a message for you in here, so I encourage you to go ahead and watch nevertheless. Now I'm just going to mix the cards up a little bit more and see if there is any card in particular that wants to jump out and be part of the reading. I am picking three cards. The first, of course, for the beginning of the week, the second for the middle, and the last one for the weekend. Hmm. Let's do this one. one and this one so let's see what the first card has to say so let me focus so that you can see what the caption says indigo and crystal children archangel metatron you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So if at the moment you're not dealing with kids, literally, this could be referring to your inner child. Take time to really give that part of you what it needs. Sometimes we get so caught up in grown-up duties and responsibilities that we ignore our inner child, that part of us that wants to play, that wants to enjoy life. And, well, it's actually, I would say, not just a want. It's a need. We need to be able to let loose. Although in a safe way, of course. And who better to do that than you? You don't have to wait for somebody to give you permission to have fun and to just enjoy even little pleasures, like taking a walk outside, taking breaks from work, indulge in some hobbies that you've put aside or put on the back burner because you've had to do what you felt were responsibilities that were more important. Well, these needs of yours are important as well. So take the time to enjoy and just have fun. And for those of you out there who do have actual children in your lives, know that you can be a beacon of light for them. You can lead by example and you can be there for them in their time of need. You might even want to go ahead and do a little research on indigo and crystal children if these terms are new to you to see if there's something there that resonates with you. So let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. So this is compassion and let me focus again for you. Compassion. Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So how that card relates to the very first card that we drew is you definitely need to love yourself. That's what it looks like this week is going to be about, paying attention to your needs and you're being encouraged now to go ahead and really care for yourself indulge in self-care. Sometimes light workers feel really guilty about taking care of themselves, so we have a tendency to always put other people ahead of ourselves. We tend to beat ourselves up and be really harsh on ourselves when we feel like we didn't do what we were supposed to, or when we do something that we think we shouldn't have done. And this card is a gentle reminder to love yourself. And now let's see what the very last card has to say. 
This is Archangel Raguel, Relationship Harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if there was anything unfavorable that happened around the middle of the week, which would tie into that compassion card, rest assured that things will be better by the weekend. This is a good time for you to just let things go and allow your angels, your spirit guides, whoever you call on to help you with issues or concerns. You can go ahead and leave your worries in their hands. Allow Source, God, Goddess, all that is, whatever your name is for the Divine, to go ahead and help you. Don't feel like you have to carry everything on your shoulders. In particular, when it comes to any conflicts in your relationships, there's no need to worry, as coming from a place of worry doesn't add any good to the situation. So that is our oracle card reading for the week of April 21st through the 27th. In case you like these cards, they come in the box that has this picture in front. This is the guidebook, and I'll probably do a review on these someday. Who knows, maybe posting oracle card readings becomes a weekly habit on this channel. And I would certainly love that. Let's see how it goes. Until next time, I hope you had a great weekend. Enjoy the week ahead. Namaste.